You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the next Play-Doh set in our Play-Doh series. I know we're going through each one that we have, and we've got quite a few more. This one here is the Coin Maker. I just did the Fix Me Up Doc set, which everyone seemed to enjoy. So let's see how much we like this one. Makes lots of shiny play coins for ages 3 to 8. Now imagine it's from the 60s and it's still sealed. Let me show you all the sides of the boxes. That kind of gives you everything that's included there. And you should get three different coin molds, which I'll show you what they are, but you can kind of see them here. One of them says Lucky, which is kind of neat for Lucky Penny Shop. And then here is the back. This gives you the process which we're going to follow, so I'll read that when we get to that. And then you get the 100, the 500, and the Lucky. And then it shows you a 10, it says actually a tennis ball size of Play-Doh, which to me is about that big. And then this says, finish coin shown actual size. So that's, well, I guess we have to test to see how accurate that really is. And then if you want to do more, it says for more fun with your Play-Doh coins, insert plastic tab into edge of coin. Run a piece of string through tab to wear on belt or waist. To make more coins, use regular household aluminum foil. Note, use only Play-Doh modeling compound from 1968. Still in the original plastic. So we've seen the box. I'm going to cut the plastic. I know, hard to believe that I would do that on such an old original box. But there's some collector somewhere that has it, and they'll keep theirs in plastic. I'm going to let mine be seen by the world here. So now, how do I get into it? Here's the question. Oh, okay, so just the top opens. Now here we are, the first time seeing this open. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Here's your instructions. Fun with your coin maker. Look at that neat little old instructions. Now, I'm not sure how easy it is going to be to wear this and how strong it's going to be with foil and Play-Doh, but you could decorate, wear about fun. Play Store, use your Play-Doh coins and the paper play money included with your coin maker. Ooh, I get paper money. Then here's the steps. About the size of a tennis ball, see that? So we will see. Maybe a lot just squishes out. And then here's my play money. Okay, there's foil sheets in there. And it looks like Magic Play Paint. So other things they're trying to advertise on the back there. And then your one, five, ten, twenty, and fifty dollar paper money. Here's original can of 1968 modeling compound. Dare we open it? Yes, I think we should. Here we go. Ooh. And to be honest with you, it smells exactly like Play-Doh. It looks like something that should smell pretty pungent, but it doesn't. So, no, needless to say, we cannot use that. But it is cool to see. It dries in full, rich color. Lit color is Play-Doh modeling compound colors. So this would have been yellow. So I'm going to get a yellow. Okay, so there's that. And then let's get this up. Still sealed. Look at that. The first person ever to take it out of its packaging. I'm always pretty careful when I do this. But at least I try to be. So there's your coin, and it's pretty neat. It says Coin Maker on the top, and then, oh, they give you the little plastic tabs. I got some scissors here. I want to open this so I can keep my bag intact for the most part. Okay, so here is the 100. It's hard to see, but it's there. And then here is the little tabs they say that you can use to put something on and hang and this is the 500 okay it's hard to read but maybe in the mold it'll be easier and then here is the lucky it says lucky all right that's everything in the box so let me get some yellow now the box actually shows white see that and he's using white but the can is yellow it's almost like a white see that so when I come back then, I will have my glass top up here. We will get started and we will make some coins. All right, so my tabletop is set now. I've got my instructions out. I don't need my money. I'll just move that off to the side. 
And then now just showing you the two cans. So this is the original can and this is a new can of Play-Doh. So let's move this one out of the way. And I am doing a yellow, like they said. Okay, and a tennis ball size. I think this is a tennis ball size. So I'm not sure what they mean by that, unless tennis balls should be a lot smaller. But you would think, based on the die, it's not going to take that much. So place your molds, or your dies, into the mold. So I'm going to do Lucky first. This is what it looks like on the inside. It says Rainbow Craft Incorporated. So I'll put the Lucky like this, so that the words will match up. And then I will put the 500. I guess I can go either way. Oh, the face. Let's see. There's a face on there. It looks like it's going this way. There's something on there. Okay, so then when I close it, that's how that works. Now, it says, that was step one. Place coin dies and press. Make a ball of Play-Doh about the size of a tennis ball. I'm going to use half of this. I think this is, I mean, to me, this is smaller. This is about the size of a tennis ball, but smaller. So I would think that's more than enough. Okay, so let me just soften it up a little in my hands. Then fold over Play-Doh, but look at that. That thing looks giant compared to his hand, right? I'm just, uh, it's just observational comments. That's all those are. It's like, hmm, something doesn't seem right. All right, so now that's getting warmer. Fold foil over Play-Doh. Okay, so I need to take this. Place coin dies and press. Make a ball of Play-Doh about the size of it. Place foil. Place on foil and flatten slightly with hand. Okay, place on foil. That looks huge. Okay. Doesn't say where to place it on foil, but I kind of have it. Let me move it over just a little towards the center. Okay. Fold foil over Play-Doh and mash again to make a thick patty. All right, make a thick patty. It really does look like the picture, doesn't it? Place patty on lower mold, okay, so that the rounded edge is close to the hinge. Resting against the hinge, press down firmly. For thinner coins, remove excess Play-Doh and foil and press down again, okay? That just seems like a lot. But the next time I do it, I'm definitely going to use less. Now let's just see. I should be able to see if this is closed all the way. It's pretty close. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, cool. I have a shiny coin. Now the edges didn't stay, but the coin came out nice. All right. Now look at that. Pretty neat. Let's pull that out. Let's put less Play-Doh and do another one. And then let's at least try swapping out one of the bottom pieces so that you just, I just put my finger in there and push it out. Okay, 100. Here we go. This time I'm going to do a lot less. And not the size of a tennis ball. You know, if I just molded this, to me this would be probably enough okay so I'm gonna do a lot less take another sheet I'm breaking the rules let's do this here there might even be enough to do like a second one if you really wanted to this here okay and I'm doing less here we go Much easier to squish out, that's for sure. Make sure it's pressed all the way. Yes, it is. Let's see if we salvage the sides. Maybe a little bit better on the bottom edge, but not the top edge. Yep, so it didn't want to save the edges. You know what I should do? I should cut that. Hold on. Let me cut this. Maybe next time what I'll do is I will cut with the scissors and try to save the crinkly edge and fold it over like that. 
There, that would look more like a coin. So that one says 100, and then I've got Lucky on that side. All right, we can do a few more here while we got the foil. So, even less. See, I don't think a tennis ball is the accurate amount. That's what I'm contending. This time I'm going to take it a little bit different. Maybe not press as hard. I'm already out of foil sheets. I might have to get more foil. All right, here we go. I'll just do the same design. Match that up. Let's see, does that really match up nice? Yeah, that matches up pretty good. It almost seems to be too much towards the hinge. There we go. All right, here we go. Maybe not press as hard. Let's see if I can salvage any of these. No, it cut. It definitely cut through the foil. I can't seem to avoid that. But let me do this. Try to save some of that foil. Okay, so I'm able to close up some of it. There's my coin, all right. Maybe I'll do a few without foil and see. Let me just do that. It's probably gonna make it here. Let me use this paper, and see what that does. Hold on a second. Now we're just experimenting. I'm gonna use a lot less. This is the smallest amount now that I've used. It's a thin paper, so we'll see. Ooh. I think a little bit more, but look. It saved itself all the way around. Yeah, I think it's almost too much when you use that big of a wad, it rips the foil. I think it should have been the size of a ping pong. Look how nice that one sealed, almost all the way around. All right, so I need to get more foil because I want to do a few more. And I don't have enough pieces because I want to get the perfect coin. So I will be back with some fresh foil and we will continue the process. All right, so I cut three more sheets with regular foil. Let me pop out this Lucky in the back here. And put in another one, so I'll make a different coin with the fives and the one hundreds. Okay, and I still think it's ping pong ball size, but I got two left of the yellow if I have to maybe take one of these apart. But I'll take the one that's a little bit bigger so we can kind of get a reference here. And then a piece of foil, flatten this out. That looks like it's just enough. Okay. Now they do make like a thicker foil, aluminum foil, that might even work better. Okay. This goes in here, and then hopefully we can get the ridges to cut nice around the edges, so we'll see. The giant ball, no good. It just ripped the foil. Okay, so again, I think it's just now that one actually made it down. I just think it's too much. That one came out pretty good. Now look at that, just a little tiny bit open around that edges. That's the best coin so far. All right, so I think we're getting closer. A little less Play-Doh is my mission now. Do you think it should have been ping pong ball, not tennis ball? What do you think? So here is the smallest I've ever made one here, okay? I think I'm happy with that one right there, my fave. Okay, so this is the smallest one. It should fill the space. I wonder too if you doubled up on the foil. See, these things have me curious as to, you know, maybe when you're pressing here, you're not allowing to full, maybe press this out just a little bit more. So now the foil won't rip as much, hopefully. 
I don't know, it's just something, in, something inside me says keep trying until you get the perfect coin. I think we're close. I think that one is pretty spot on. Okay. Let's see. Yep, that one worked just like the last one. So I think that's as good as we're going to get. But it is better than the other ones. There's just a little bit of a gap. All right, see? Let me just show you. These are definitely shinier. And then I think we've pretty much done it as little as possible. I'll do one more. One more. Which one? It's easier to probably take the paper off of this one. Because I don't have any more Play-Doh handy here. I'd switch colors, but I didn't. only brought out yellow thinking I wouldn't be making this many coins. Okay, so we know this amount was pretty accurate. So let's do this again. Much less. I'm going to flatten it out even more. Okay. I'm going to fold this over one more time. There we go. Okay, last example here. Okay, it did not press, but it gave me a nicer edge. So, and we just need a little bit more Play-Doh than that. Because the designs did not press out. But, I think my edge is much better. Now if I cut this... See, to me, I think part of that experimenting would be to get that perfect amount every time so you have your perfect coin. There's that coin. All right. I don't know. See, like that. That's the way I wanted it to end up. Just all nice and crispy. All right. Well, I think we're good. Now, these were the pieces they wanted you to push through. I'll save these as original because I think you get the idea. You could also probably just take a pipe cleaner, which I do have off to the side, and poke it through. Let's see. Let's do one of these that aren't as nice. Yeah, it pokes right through. See? I guess it would hang. So I'm going to say that, yeah, it would hang for a little while. Because look. There. Now hang that from your belt. All right, so we got the 100 there. This one has the 100 and the 500, and that's got the Lucky. So I think overall, it does work pretty good. And just a little bit more play time, and you would get it just right. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cool vintage set. And remember now, you can hang this on your shoes, your ankles. You can make a bunch for a necklace, a star badge for a sheriff, hmm, a paperweight. You know, truck hauling, you can make like 50 of them and have fun, like I did. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more Play-Doh sets that are cool and vintage look in that description. We'll have a link there. As always, you can just search Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.